Good evening, Celtic can seal their place in the Champions League group stages tonight. They lead 5-2 on aggregate going into the second leg of their tie away to the Israeli side, Apoel Beersheva. It's been three years since Celtic last made it into the group stage. If you're talking big clubs... Now to Rugby Union, time. we understand Sale are in talks to sign former Ulster players Paddy Jackson and Stuart Olding. Their contracts were revoked by the Irish Rugby He's going Football for a Union. I'm going for revenge. Well, there's more build-up to that big game tonight. Roma against Liverpool in the semi-final of the Champions League. Live right now on Sky Sports News. We're back at 6.20. Good evening and welcome to Team Talk. Ian's away for the week in sunny Wales, so I'm off the bench, uh, ready to make an impact this evening. Joining me, Simon Watts tonight, is the ex-Reds and Notts County and Mansfield defender John Thompson. Notts megafan Adrian Rawdon. And of course, as always, the man beside me, uh, Charlie McParlin. So this time last week, Meadow Lane hosted what many would call the pre-season friendly of all pre-season friendlies. Mark Warburton's men travelled the short distance across the River Trent to take on the Magpies in front of a massive crowd. Hey, well. Thanks ever so much for joining us. Hope you have a good Christmas. And uh, well, yeah, this busy schedule for Tottenham begins away uh, in the late kickoff at Burnley this Saturday. Formula. West Ham's points per game record is better under Slaven Bilic than any other West Ham manager in the Premier League era. But even though they're one point better off than at this stage last season, expectations are much greater this time around. So the games to come against Swansea, Burnley, Brighton and Crystal Palace could be absolutely defining. Simon Watts at West Ham's training ground for Premier League news. Since early October, of course, with a hamstring injury. Now, there's a really nice moment at the beginning of training today when 17-year-old Ethan Ampadu was congratulated by all of his teammates. He made his first start for the club in that victory against Everton last night. Uh, a year ago, he was playing for League Two Exeter City and actually needed permission from school to play in some of their games because he was studying in the final year before his exams. He played really well alongside Danny Drinkwater. Really looking at his managerial record at Notts County. 15 games since he took charge, eight wins, a 52% win record, eight wins in 33 games for John Sheridan uh, before he was sacked as manager. Add to that, he won eight out of 16 games at Leighton Orient before quite heartily he was sacked really this time a, a, a year ago. Uh, uh, Tomorrow, I think, uh, would he face a difficult summer now deciding on the futures of some of these out-of-contract players he's got that he's inherited because they've done so well under him, it's going to seem almost brutal to cast some of them aside. Well, I think all the players that are playing for him. Moving from one historic city to another, Oxford United midfielder Chemi has been keen to immerse himself in English culture, choosing to live in the city centre to integrate into his new surroundings. Events in Catalonia have never been far from the 22-year-old's mind, though, so the chance of a 24-hour trip home to vote wasn't going to be passed up. I pretty much fell into football and I know I can fall out of it just as quickly. At the end of the 2015-16 season in England, 844 professional footballers found themselves out of contract. At the moment, I'm hoping that you know I, I do have enough to offer a club and with a little bit of experience. While some will go on to find new clubs, for many this could signal the end of their careers. Been there basically half my life, and now they're not offering me a new contract. In this programme, we follow five out-of-contract players from different levels of the game and at different stages of their careers as they begin their search to stay in football. Hopefully, I will find a team that will be good for me both on and off the pitch. It'd be nice to be able to settle somewhere and enjoy playing football and be successful, really. 